this video, I'm going to be telling you about every single boat in Blocks Roots, as well as some secret boats that you might have not known existed. Okay, so the very first boat that we got on this list is called a dinghy, and I'm sure you all know what it is. It is a free boat in the game, and you can buy it from an NPC called the Boat Dealer. And this is the major NPC when it comes to getting boats in the game. The dinghy is the second smallest boat in the game, and the slowest in the whole game. And it can literally only hold two people. And the appearance of the boat is that it is a half cylinder, it's a brown boat, and has a very small square mast and despite being free this boat is overshadowed by the sloop boat which we will be covering later on this list but a cool thing about the dinghy is that back in the day there used to be a glitch where you could lure over bosses and make them sit in the back of your dinghy and then they wouldn't be able to move they literally couldn't get up and then you could just deal a butt ton of damage to them while they're basically sitting afk in your boat and the amount of health that this boat has is a hundred so if someone else attacks it then you're pretty much dead so the next boat that we got on this list is called the sloop and this is a boat that costs a total of 300 belly to buy but that's only if you are a pirate. If you're a marine, then you can buy this boat for the cheap price of 150 belly, and that's literally just half the price. And this boat is a really good boat, and if you're looking for a cheap and fast boat without having to spend too much belly on it, then this is definitely the boat that you want to go for. It can fit a total of three people at the max, and it's the second cheapest boat, and it can be bought from the boat dealer, obviously, just like most other boats in the game. And this boat is way faster than the dingy from before. You'll see that this is a boat that's being used the most often. Another cool fact about this boat that I should mention is that it moves at a different speed depending on whether you're a pirate or a marine. If you're a pirate, then this boat moves slightly slower, and if you're a marine, this moves slightly faster. And the reason for this is that it lets people that are marines catch up to pirates, because I guess that's how the game's supposed to work. The next boat we got on the list is called Basic. Yup, that's literally the name of the boat. The Basic boat is a boat that has very medium speed. It has two cannons and two passenger seats, along with the captain, so it basically has the same amount of space as the slew from before. And this boat has a total of 2,000 health, which makes it pretty hard to shoot down during raids. But one thing to mention is that the Basic is not as fast as the sloop, but it does have a lot more health and it has cannons to protect itself against other boats. So if you want to know which boat you should get on, it depends on what type of situation you're looking for. If you're looking for a situation where you're fighting against people, then this is probably the better boat. But if you're trying to catch up to someone, then you should probably stick to the sloop. This boat costs a total of 1,000 belly to buy. So it costs a lot more than the sloop, literally like three times more. So choose wisely. Okay, so now we're getting to the better ships on this list. So now we got the Brigade. The Brigade is one of the strongest ships in the whole of Blocks Fruits. It has a total of 11 flags, 4 cannons, and 2,500 health. And if you're using a cannon, you can completely control the trajectory by sitting and clicking where you want it to shoot. And just like most ships in the game, you can buy this from the Boat Dealer NPC for a total of 4,000 belly. This seems a bit expensive, but trust me, it's definitely worth the price. And the requirements to get this are actually different depending on whether you're a Marine or a Pirate. And yup, this is the first boat in the game that literally has a quest for you to unlock it. If you're a pirate, then all you have to simply do is defeat three different marines. They can be any level. And if you're a marine, you guessed it, you have to kill three different pirates. And some quick trivia about this boat, this is arguably one of the largest ships in the whole of Blocks Roots. I doubt you're finding a ship any bigger, and it's often used for sea beast hunting along with the flower ship and the swan ship, but we'll get to those later. Alrighty, the next boat that we got on this list is called the Speedboat, and I doubt a lot of people in this game even know that this boat exists, because you rarely see it in-game. The Speedboat is a free boat, but the only NPC that you can get this from is the Luxury Boat Dealer. However, to access the Luxury Boat Dealer, you actually have to buy the Faster Boats Game Pass. It's a special game pass that gives you access to faster boats in the game, like the name suggests. We'll talk about all the boats you get access to later, but all you need to know is that the Speedboat is a free boat that comes with this game pass. It has a total of 1,200 HP, so it's not that easy to take down. It's a steel boat with a black sail and has light brown seats. It has two different seats so you can control it and you can get a friend to sit in it. And another cool thing about this boat is that when it was first added to the game, it was called Rocket Boost instead of a speedboat, but I guess they changed the name because Rocket Boost for a boat's name literally makes no sense. But anyways, let's head over to the next luxury boat. So the boat that we got next up is called the Enforcer. The Enforcer is literally the smallest boat in Blocks Fruits. However, it is literally the fastest boat in the game. It has only one seat, so you're basically the only person who can drive on it, but you can easily bypass this by getting your friends to just stand on the boat. And make sure you tell them not to move, because if they move, then they're just gonna fall off right into the water. And this boat can obviously be bought from the luxury boat dealer, because it is literally a crazy boat. It costs a total of 1,000 belly, and has a total of 1,000 HP. So despite its small size, it won't even go down that fast, in a raid. To get the Enforcer, you obviously gotta have the Faster Boats Game Pass, and then all you have to do is simply spawn it in using the Luxury Boat Dealer. Now let's talk about some pros and cons about this boat. This is the fastest boat in the game, and this is obviously also a great alternative for travel if you do not have a flight move, a water walking fruit, or the shark race, because how else are you gonna get around? And this is very useful for the Race V4 puzzle because you'll need it to find the Mirage Island. But then again, this costs Robux, and I know a lot of people in this game don't have a bunch of Robux spare to spend, and that kind of makes this pay to win. But if you have the Robux, 
bucks for it, then it should be no problem for you. Another thing I should mention about this boat is that it's kind of bad for sea beast hunting, and the reason for that is HP is really low, so the sea beast is gonna destroy the boat in like two seconds. And also, the last thing is that it has no cannons, but that doesn't really matter because it's a boat that specializes in speed. The next boat that we got on this list is called the Swan Ship, and this boat, like the name suggests, you can get it by defeating the Dawn Swan boss. And those of you guys wondering who the Dawn Swan boss is, this is a level 1000 boss, which you need to defeat to evolve any race to V3 as well as getting to the third C. And this boss has a total of 52,000 HP and does around 1,300 damage per hit. So he's a pretty powerful boss, but once you defeat him, you can get access to this boat. And obviously, this boat has a 100% chance of dropping, but you have to deal at least 10% damage to the boss when you fight him. You can't just do like 2% damage and have your friend finish him off. That doesn't work. To spawn this boat in, you have to pay a total of 5,000 belly, and it's the same speed as the other one. This boat has a total of 2,500 HP and four cannons. It's also shaped like a black swan, and also has two little wings on the side. But you can only spawn this boat from the luxury boat dealer, so you're gonna have to have the game pass even after you defeat the boss. And in my opinion, this boat is one of the coolest looking boats in the whole game, because the style is just really good. Alright, moving on, let's talk about the flower ship like I mentioned before. This is actually a pretty special ship, and the way that you get it is also pretty unique. The way you get it is by finding this cyborg NPC who's located behind the factory at the Kingdom of Rose on the second sea. And once you talk to him, you can buy the boat for a total of 1,500 fragments. And once you do that, you can spawn in the ship anytime from the luxury boat dealer for a total of 5,000 belly. This boat has a total of 2,500 HP, has four cannons, and there's a pretty small easter egg that's hidden in the highest flag. And the cool thing about the ship is that I can fire at better angles than any other ships due to the cannons that are in the front. So you can literally be driving at someone and keep shooting at them, which is something you can't do with most other ships. Cool thing about the ship is that the flower ship and the swan ship have relatively the same stats, except for the front cannon on this ship, which in my opinion makes this a little bit better. And this is literally the only boat in the game that you have to pay fragments to get. And back in the day, this ship used to have red paint, but it was later changed to orange because it looks a lot more refined. Okay, so before we get to the final and coolest boat that's on this list, let's talk a little bit about the boat spawning NPCs. Obviously, you know that there's the boat dealer and the luxury boat dealer, but have you ever wondered where they spawn? Well, for the boat dealer, that's actually pretty easy. He literally spawns in on every single island in the whole game, except for the prison on the first sea, the Jean Look Island, which a lot of you might be wondering what that is. Well, it's the island that spawns the mob leader on the first sea. And the last island that this NPC does not spawn at is Usopp's Island. Other than that, he literally spawns in every single island, so you can get a boat from this guy anytime. Moving on to the luxury boat dealer. The only islands this guy does not spawn at are all the same islands as the previous one, so he doesn't spawn at Usopp's island, he doesn't spawn at the Jean Look island, or at the prison. And a bad thing about this guy is that he actually does not spawn at the jungle either, and in my opinion, the jungle is one of the most crucial islands in the first sea, because that's where the blast root gotcha is. So no matter what level you are, if you're in the first sea, you're gonna be rolling this guy a lot. And if you have the luxury boats game pass, then it's kind of a waste if you can't access the boat dealer there. Anyways, enough about the dealers, let's talk about the final and coolest boat in the whole game. Alright, the next boat that we got on this list is the Slay, and this is the coolest boat in the game in my opinion. And it's also the second fastest boat, only second to the Enforcer. But the cool thing about this boat is about the NPC that you buy from. That's right, you buy from Santa Claus himself for a total of 1,000 candies. And obviously you can only buy this boat during the Christmas events. And once you buy it for 1,000 candies, you can spawn it in any time from the luxury boat dealer for 5,000 belly. This ship has a total of 1,000 HP, and that's really good considering how fast it is. Let's talk about some pros and cons. This is the second fastest boat in the game and that's unlikely to change. It's small enough to avoid most of the cannonballs that your enemies will try and shoot at you. It's also a pretty good alternative for travel if you don't have any fruits or the shark rays. And unlike the enforcer boat, this actually does not require any game pass, you just simply have to find the NPC and spawn it in. Another pretty cool thing about this boat is that it actually plays music while you drive on it. And did I mention it also has three different seats, so I'm not actually sure which boat is better, the enforcer or this one, let me know down in the comments. However, the one downside is that it does cost more than the enforcer, but that doesn't really matter because you can hold three people and the enforcer cannot. And another bad thing is that it does not have any cannons. So if someone's shooting cannonballs at you, you actually have no way of fighting against them. And probably the biggest downside is that you cannot get this boat once the Christmas event ends. So the opening to get this boat is literally only once a year. So if you guys want to get this boat, make sure you stay on Blocks Roots for Christmas. 